All right, listen up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, those who are neither male nor female found in the body of Christ, but currently are dwelling in a flesh of filth and sack of sadness. Let me tell you what, I have been nothing but high in spirit. Nothing, nothing but high in spirit. My, my, my skin, my, my bones, my, my flesh, that it, that is run by the blood and the water of weakness that is this world. Let me tell you what, I have been run into dirt. I have been dragging myself through the dirt. God has been just dipping me in and pulling me out and saying, hey, life sucks, but I got you. Life sucks, but I got you. You know what? Life is great, but the death that dwells in this world around me, around us, the body, the ecclesia, the called out ones, I can't hold it in. I fellowshiped with Nelson Howe last Thursday. He just called me up. I think Wednesday, maybe. I can't even remember. Nelson, hello, brother. You're beautiful. Keep doing what you're doing. Mr. Rob Wow, my brother. The Great Unfolding with Rob Wow. And then there's Nelson Howe Bible Truths. H-O-W-E. How? Nelson How? Rob Wild. W-I-L-E. Rob Wild. The Great Unfolding with Rob Wild. Jimmy. Steven. My two younger brothers. Gerudo King. Go check out Gerudo King. G-E-R-U-D-O-K-I-N-G. That, my brothers put out a couple videos recently. I'm telling you, I'm hyped in only spirit. There's all, That's all I got is spirit. I've got nothing in this flesh. It's all vanity. It's all, it's all waste. Uh, Jess uh, and uh, oh my God, Justin, Jason. Oh my God, Jason. Why was I just deceived to think your name was Justin? That's sad. Um, Jason just reposted a guy who I, I can't remember his name his YouTube account, but he just followed me. I just followed him. And the guy spit out some, the black and white truth. He, he spit out the, he spit out the truth, the grace, the, the evangel of grace. That is Paul's evangel, the evangel of truth that saves us and gives us life aeonian that brings us into the realization that we are the body of Christ. Those not found in the circumcision gospel, but that found in the uncircumcision gospel. This this young man, he's, he might be older than me. He, he looks way more well-kept than I am. That's for damn sure. But this man, he, he is throwing the truth out there. And then someone else posted another account. And it's like the the, the members of the, the body were groaning. We cannot keep it down. The spirit is exploding, folks. Exploding. I've told you about it before. And a lot of you old heads, a lot of you OGs, I, I uh, video chatted with uh, Leo our brother Leo Vanderberg from uh, Holland. The the brother brought me his peace and calm, the spirit of God that was with him, that is seasoned and has well endured many, many, many nights as a believer of the truth over the past 20, would you say 7, 8, 28, 29 years, Leo? Brother, y'all say all the old heads, all of you old heads, all the OGs, all the... All the, the people who have been in the truth for a long time, they look at us young bucks and they say, you guys get it so fast. And I, I'm like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. But it doesn't mean you got it slow. It means you got it in perfect timing. Perfect timing. Absolute perfect timing. Whether this is your first time hearing about the evangel of Paul, the apostle Paul, which is that the, the life, the perfection of law for Israel, the life into death of an innocent being that is the son of God not God himself but the son of God the perfect image of God was sentenced to death for a sacrifice for all all creatures with a breath God has made a soul for them he saves dogs he saves cats he saves demons he saves angels he saves humans believers unbelievers those who are in the circumcision gospel, that is the calling of Israel, of Peter, that is to do the law, the law that saves you, the works, the good works that save you. We herald grace, the most powerful, the most loving, the most misunderstood 
and carelessly handled scriptures in all of the world because they are so tedious. They are so fucking beautiful. They are the truth that saves you because Christ Jesus does it. The faith of Christ endured into death that he knew that his Father God, our Father God, that we are Christ's. We were there, crucified with him. Before the disruption of the world, before he was physically tormented by demonic beings, the adversary himself, that is Satan, the liar, the prince of the air, the king of this world, the god of this world, before any of that torment, before the Roman soldiers stabbed him to lance the water out of his lungs, that he would die, finally die, weaken his body, weaken his flesh. Christ Jesus gave up when he knew that it was finished, when he knew that God had given him enough. He even said, take this fucking cup of wrath from me, God. Take this cup of wrath from me. He didn't want to endure the cross. He was sweating. He was nervous and anxious to the point of sweating blood. Have you ever been so nervous? Have you ever been so righteous and holy and so undeserving of the chaos that has entered into your life that you started to sweat blood? Red blood, holy blood, the blood of the innocent, the Lamb of God, who was yet to be slain before the disruption of the world. Are you shitting me? Alright, we're gonna go. I just got stuck at a red light. Sorry. That's what happens. That's what happens. We get stuck. We get stuck in the flesh thinking, me, 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 me. No, Christ. Christ alone. That's it. That's the name. The name above all names that you have the title of if you just put your flesh to death. And guess what? Not you, but the spirit in you. God sees you as righteous and holy and flawless in his sight. In your sight, you look in the mirror. Ugh! You don't like what the fuck you see. You don't like that shit. You look away after too long. But if you're a believer and you understand the truth and you've been given a glimpse that is the glory of God, that is your suffering is purposed by him, the good things that you endure in this life are purposed by him. There is nothing without the influence of God. Good, evil, positive, negative, any of it. None of that. All right, we're getting bright. Let's get up in here. Yo, folks, we're seven minutes, 48 seconds in. I've been on spiritual heights these past couple weeks, and God has blessed me to realize that none of it is perception. None of it. None of this, none of this that our flesh, the dying part of us experiences, this this shameful body of humiliation that Christ had to dwell in for 33 years. I believe in spirit that this lifetime is like, in spirit, it's like blinking your eyes and opening and then opening your eyes. It's like that quick. This life is, what is it? It's vapor in the wind. There we go. Good stop. Vapor in the wind. It's like, uh, what's, it's wheat, 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 ready to just blow chaff. What is it? Chaff? Is that what it is? Chaff? Uh, wheat, just ready to blow in the wind. The adversary just does what he wants with us. And that's what's so fucking gnarly. We don't, we don't have to worry about any of this. There's not a single drop of worry, a single drop of shame or guilt. The love it comes out of us. And guess what? It's not like you realize the truth and then you're a good person. Then you're a loving person. No. You have always been a Christ. It's just when you realize it, that's when you are aware that you are a Christ. You are a Christ. You are Christ's. Christ, apostrophe S, Christ's. Because there's the head of the body, which is Christ. Holy and flawless and he covers all of us. And we understand that he is Christ. Therefore, we are Christ's. But we are aware of his death. His life, death, and vivification for all. Vivification. V-I-V-I-F. Vivification. C-A-T-A. Who cares? Go look it up. Vivification. V-I-V-I-F. I C A T I O N. Vivification, I think. If I'm wrong, whatever. I'm an idiot. Anyways, God doesn't choose the smart folks. He chooses us dumbasses. So, 
let me just tell you, 10 minutes in, I've got nothing but love for anybody. If you hate me for telling you what the truth is, I love you. If you love me, I love you. If you love Christ, I love you. Because if you love Christ, then you love yourself, then you love all the members of the body. Even if we can't fucking stand each other. Who cares? That's just our human bullshit. <laughs> We're going to the spiritual heights, folks. Life has been nothing but walking on daggers and eggshells. I'm either going to be worried about my next step as if it's hollow or as if it's going to cut right through my foot. And God is loosening me from this flesh. The lusts of the flesh, the desires of the flesh, anything. It's just, it's becoming just the most monotonous and materialistic and just... Oh my God, you know what it feels like to just feel hollow and empty. God pushes that upon me that I would just not want it. And my God, I get headaches now. I, 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 can't, I can't explain it other than God is just changing my heart to hate the things of the flesh. And that's Christ within me. That's Christ within you that's happening. And you don't have to be, you don't, don't, don't be the Christian. Don't be the fucking champion trying to save yourself and you're, you can change on your own. No, you can't. You can realize things and God changes you. The Spirit of God, the will of God is the adventure that you're on. And it's perfect already. Don't think that you're the cause of the benefits of your life. Sure, uh, God glorifies things through us. He shines His light through us that we would be luminaries and lights in this dark, dark world. Think about that. It's not the light that's us. It's the light of God. It's the truth of Him. It's His breath that animates the human. His desires will be our desires. Our desires are sinful and fleshful and full of whatever the fuck ties you down to here. If you like being on this earth and you're a believer... Do you really love the truth? Like, what is the truth to you? Do you care about this terrestrial world? Do you care about the facts of this place? Do you care about what we're looking at? Like, I I do, but I just... I only care because I know that God cares. I don't fucking care about this place. I want out. I want the whole... I want to be in the will of God. The, the consistent and nurturing and loving and carefree bliss that is walking step by step completely in the knowledge of the full mind of Christ in the heights of celestial realms glorified by God through the spirit that is in us in complete form we are so weak we're so incapable and God God gives us what we need when we need it and we look back in hindsight and it's always appreciative we always appreciate it but right now in this flesh we can't do that what we do now it's uh it's not it's not what we want but God gives us enough appreciation to live in this flesh and endure that we would I believe that we we will revisit ourselves and comfort ourselves and we will see the effects of the spirit because we will be fully in spirit revisiting ourselves that only had a droplet of faith you know whole world and groans for it but there's not a single being that wouldn't want to be in bliss and God's acceptance to just be out of this world man and if I'm in this world I want it to be for the glory of God and be aware of it I'm to that point where if I'm just not focused on Christ if anything in this world comes in the way of me being appreciating of God's will I'm just distraught and I hate it I fucking hate it I've... <sighs> all you old heads that have been in this 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, whatever 
What I want from you. <coughs> I want you to realize slow growth or quick growth. A tree will last and bring shade and comfort to the world far beyond the years that you thought that you had no hope or no growth or no opportunity or no what if or oh, I should have done this, should have done that. Fuck, fuck off. God's timing is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let me tell you, I feel like death just about every day. I sense death. I taste death. It's bitter. It's disgusting. I taste the sin. It's horrible. It's wretched. And guys, brothers and sisters and brethren in Christ, nothing I'm going to say is going to calm you down. It's the Spirit. There's nothing I can do or be or say or no, no scripted line other than God's will, which is perfect that I would even want to put this video out. And I, I just want you guys to know life is it's happening perfectly. You don't have to worry about any of it because for freedom, Christ frees you. And it's his faith that God makes you believe. And it's not out of anything you've done, but everything that Christ has accomplished. Guys, I love you. I love you so much.